Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be showing you how to install mods on the NR Tezen 3. We'll show you how to install mods, literally, that's what it's called, uh, tracks, and call paint schemes. First of all, we're going to start with the mod, which is uh, basically the main source. This is where most people mod the most is the uh, car you'll be driving even though it doesn't affect the game just so you know uh, you'll click on that link there you'll see uh, the FCRD NCS 22 mod you'll click download I already installed it onto my computer so I don't have to do that but you'll just have to download it and now if you want paint schemes from um, during the season you can just click here or you can go to the other link I put here and then uh, I'll just show the same thing. Now, if you want, so here's all the paint schemes of this season. Now you can go back to past seasons. Um, when you see paint schemes that uh, is like orange, red, other colors besides green, you can't click it because it's not made. But they have, they usually have it within like a week or so after the week after the race but you can just click on a car you want let's say I want this Kyle Larson click download um, like so and then I'll put that into my game now tracks uh, you should be able to see it. you can just actually click on everything up here to move to things you can uh, click short ovals, one mile over speedways, super speedways, um, dirt ovals. What the heck? My oh thing broke right there. I don't know what's going on with my thing there. Anyways, you'll just click any of these. You can also hover over this and it'll show you which one. I'm going to do short ovals. That's dirt. Short ovals. And that. And we're going to do Richmond. So you... You would click one of these, scroll down, and then you would find the track you want. There's Iowa, so that's a new track. Martinsville. They only show most, like most of these are real tracks. If you wanted uh, fictional tracks, I must have missed it. Richmond. Here we go. So I wanted Richmond. So let's say I wanted Richmond 2011. I would go to here, it would go to here, so some of these are different, so like the 2011 right there, but then like the 2012, you would just go to here, sometimes it would go to stun on, it's going to be different for each one, but I'll just download, uh, that's an EXE, I won't do that one, we'll do 2012 actually, because, now there is sometimes um, tracks that have EXEs like this, like I just saw these have EXEs, they'll just download straight onto your computer. I've only done it a little bit. You will also need 7-Zip. I will put that in the description. Now, once you've downloaded everything you wanted from this website, because this has mostly uh, all the things you need. If you wanted, um, you can actually do scoring. So you would go into your thing, export your results, and then you could like pick a NASCAR with Chase, No Chase, and others like number wins. That's how you win. ARCA, which you can't click on ARCA from tw until 2019, and then V8 supercars and IndyCar. There's no F1, which is surprising, but. So you could do 2016, 2017 cup, and then you would click this, and it would click here, and then it would you would go to your NR Tesla 3 file, and then you would go to here, click exports and imports, and then you would click one of these. Uh, it wouldn't really, uh, you just name it, and but. It it's recommends you name it race one like this, so it would maybe recognize it as race two and then race one. And then any other things is you would go links if you want other things like in ratings, which you can get good ratings. 
I'll make if I I might make a video of that by itself. Wind map in our assistant. And then you click it, stun on, it would send you to this website. I'll also show put this in the description because this is a very big so like the bubble also so like if sometimes that website would not put it on there, so you can go to here. You can install number sets, create your own paint schemes and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. But let's get back to the stuff that I was gonna originally show you. This is what people mainly do. So you would download the track, make sure you have uh seven zip, so you would uh click extract. You can do it to downloads, but I would just recommend just go to this PC, go to whatever you put it, papyrus, and then go to your N R T three season. Nope. Season. Go to tr put it in tracks. And then you would click OK, and then it would put it in there. Now the cup car, well, we'll put this first. I already have this installed, but what you would do is click extract. Sometimes you don't need 7-zip, but this one you do. You don't. This one you don't. But you would go here. If you want to keep the original cars, you can, but you don't need to. Uh, these are like 22 clean two cars but you would copy it or cut it and then you would put it into same thing this PC this and then go to series and then you would put it in here and paste it and then you'd be able to you see where that uh, says that you I mean it doesn't really matter where it goes but you can put different cars and then to put car paint schemes into it you would click onto here, click cars, and then now these cars have a little dot. I will just leave it, but if you want to drive as a specific car, you'd have to remove that dot and make it to where it's uh, not a space. Or, but sometimes that happens. But if you just want it as a not, you don't want to drive it. You just I wouldn't worry about it. It doesn't really matter. But if there's like a pan scheme you're looking for that you put in and it isn't, you would have to go back and remove that dot or remove that space from the dot. Okay, and then you would close all about that. It would just work automatically. You would, uh, you don't need this no more. Click in Artism 3. You would go into it. And then it wouldn't load this background. It would look, uh, you see like Joey Logano. They got the Clash. It might lag for a minute when you first load in. It also might, uh, you, you might see this. So you can, you can change mods as it actually would lag like that. You can see I put a lot more mods, but you can switch mods from that way. Now the cars that you just put in, Chase Elliott. Well, no, that's not the one I did. There's Tyler Reddick, I'm pretty sure. Well, here's the five car I put in. You can see, and then you can. You can name it into a roster. Now, if you wanted to get like a Daytona 500 car set or something like that, you would have to create your own. I don't think there's really a car set uh, pack where you can, but last year's they have it to where you can like download car sets for our, the whole season. So, but yeah, you can see that the paint schemes from Indy car from the uh, Indianapolis race. Uh, let's say I wanted to run. Let's see if I wanted. Uh, Making a car set with uh, three cars or something. I don't know. With the three cars you just had. If I can find that 45 car, it might have been a TGA. Maybe I put. But let's say this was it. Now. Let me pull. Then let me see the five. You would do that one and then like something like this. So the three cars, you got your three cars that you want. And then let me load it into Richmond, the track you just downloaded and put into it as well. Sometimes tracks do uh, glitch out sometimes, which is always. Um, this isn't the 2012 one. This is a 2012. It's a night race here. You can pick the car set you just 
put in the two the couple cars yellow flags whatever the things you want load it up and now you just installed mods onto your game now now obviously you would have to install a lot more if you wanted to move realistic like you don't want just to, uh, Todd Gillen, Tyler Reddick, and Five Car in it, but just as an example, I was gonna show you that. But you can install like the whole, you can the whole like race, like a full 40 car set, and then you'll be good. But yeah, it works. Sometimes uh, this is a heavy mod. This is one of the heavier ones. Like it uses the most of your computer. For on here on Inarch 3, so it might have lag more lag than the original car set. But yeah, that's it for the uh, tutorial how to install mods onto Inarch 3. I hope that was simple. I try to keep it quick, but try to not to do it too complicated. Hopefully, it wasn't too com if it was, uh, just leave it. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments. And, uh, bye.